This is a Renogy 100 watt solar panel portable setup. It comes with this this bag, you know, and then uh, you put the panels in. The panels fold in half onto one side, then you fold the bag over. It zips up. It's a very nice little setup here. It's not that heavy. Each panel is 50 watts. On the back side is a controller that tells you everything you need to know about what's happening with the panels. Um, over there, I have it connected to a, it's in the shadows, but it's a Blue Eddy 800 watt EB70S uh, generator. It's bringing in 93 watts to power this thing. Uh, this thing, these panels only produce as much as 100 watts, so, I mean, I'm almost getting full, full amount coming in. This is how you want to connect this, is you connect it, right there's my Blue Eddy cord i'm going to get an extension but connected directly to the panels so you have this cord that comes from that side and then it goes over to this side and then you have this cord that's connected directly into the blue eddy or your solar generator whatever it is whichever one you're using you don't want to use the controller to connect so i have it disconnected so here I am connected. This is still the same connection right into the panel itself, not into the controller. I've got my voltmeter connected and I don't know if you can read that, but it says 22.3 volts. So it's gone down a little because it was doing 23.2 or 23.3 earlier. So here it is connected. Uh, it says 14.4 volts to the controller. I have the controller connected to my battery on my truck. So there's my truck, there's the cord, it goes through. And then basically, it's connected to my lead acid battery here with the provided, these cables were provided, this con this uh, connector cable uh, by Renogy. They give you these. And anyway, it's connected as you can see, and it was giving me 14.4 volts. So that's what happens when you're connected to the controller. A lot of people get the B01 code. That just means you're not connected to anything. You got to connect. And then if you really look right here, you see the blue light, which means it is charging my battery. But anyway, there you have it. That is the way that the controller works. You, gotta get, you have to have it connected to a battery. If you're not connected, it'll give you a code that says you're not getting any volts. That just means you're not connected. And that is all. So this is a pretty good setup.